Hi friends, welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video we are going to see, severity and priority without any further ado, let's start the session. Priority are two things we have to choose once the error is found whenever we find a bug. We pick its severity and priority of the bug usually testers choose the severity of the bug and the project leader or project manager selects the error priority. What is severity? Bug or defect severity can be defined as the impact of the bug on customer's business. In simple words how will have a big impact on the system due to this particular type of defect? Types of severity. Severity critical, severity major, severity minor. Critical severity issue is an issue where a large part of the functionality or major system component is completely broken and there there is no solution for which to move forward. For example, Due to a bug in one we module cannot test the other modules because a particular bug blocked the other modules. Bugs which affects customers are considered critical bug. Major severity issue is an issue that exists a large piece of feature or major a system component is completely broken and there is a solution that can be moved further the only difference between major severity and critical severity is in critical severity we cannot move further. While in the image of severity there will be a walk around. What is minor severity? The minor severity issue is an issue that imposes some loss of functionality but for which there is an acceptable and easily reproducible walkaround. In some cases we say trivial severity also. In trivial severity there will be a problem, but it is related to the enhancement of the system. Switch to priority, W hat is the priority? Defect priority can be defined as soon the defect should be fixed. It gives the order in which the defect is to be resolved. Developers decide which defect they should proceed further on the basis of priority. What are the types of priorities? High priority, medium priority, and low priority. High priority matters as an issue that has a high impact on customer's business or an issue which strongly affects the system and the system cannot be used until the issue was fixed. This kind of issue must be fixed immediately. Most of the cases by user perspective is the priority of the issue set to high priority though the severity of the issue is minor. What is the medium priority? Issues which are released in the next build. Comes under medium priority. Such issue can be resolved along with further development activities. Low priority. An issues which has no impact on customer's business has a low priority. Let's see how we can discriminate high severity and high priority. Low severity, low priority. High severity, low priority and low severity, high priority bugs. A key function has failed and no workaround. Example. Login button doesn't work so the user can't access to a system that is under high severity, high priority bug. Let's look at low severity and high priority. A basic feature failed but has a huge impact on customer's business. For example, there is a spelling mistake in the company logo on the home page. Let's see high severity and low priority bug. Key functions failed but it has no impact on customer's business. For example, Calculation fault annual report that will not be used by the end user won't use regularly. Let's see low severity and low priority issues. Whereas in some systems there will be cosmetic issues which means inconsistency of font or font size. Somewhere points I want to mention here. The development team takes up the high priority defects first rather than of high severity months generally severity is assigned by the testers or test led and priority is assigned by the developer team lead or project lead. So, guys that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching bye. Have a nice day.